Okay, welcome to our maths lesson for this week. Uh, we are doing some maths puzzles. Puzzles um, um, working on the numbers hun with hundreds, tens and units. So continuing on from last week, but we're going to make it fun and play some games. So it's pages 90 to 91. These two pages in the book. But if you want to do it in a different way, with it, you don't have to do the book, you can play some games, which I'll show you now in a little minute how to play them, which are the exact same activities as in the book. Um, also work it out. I'd love you to keep up your work it out. Um, it is actually, I don't want to say more important than busy at maths, it's not, but it's the best way to practice your maths, okay? Uh, because it gives you questions from all over maths, of all sorts of maths, and they keep practicing them over and over again. So the more we do, the more we practice. So week 23 next week, and don't forget to do Monday to Thursday activities only at home yourself. And next, <laughs> this is confusing, next Wednesday, we will do our Friday test together. If that makes sense, okay. Not much makes sense at the moment, but Anyway, so on the last day of the week, I will always do your spelling test and your work it out test with you. Okay, basically. So next Wednesday is the last day of our week. Right, let's get working on this. So, a quick reminder of some place value tips. Okay, quick revision of place value. If you have the number 167, remember we're looking at each digit, the one, the six, the seven, where are they in the number will tell us the value of that digit. So the one is one what? The six is one what? Or six what? The seven is seven what? And how much is that worth? So we can write it in our number house um, to help us to figure it out. So 167 is 100, six tens, seven units. That's the place that they're in. Okay. We can put it on the abacus. Um, how many hundreds? 100. It's 100. How many tens? Six. So six beads on the tens. Each one is 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Units. There are seven units. Seven beads. Each bead is a unit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's 167. Uh, notation board down here, you did these as well. Very similar to the abacus. Each bead is um, in its own place. So 167, the hundreds, there's one bead for 100. Six beads for six tens, each bead is 10. One, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So we have 160, how many units? Seven. Each bead counts for one unit each, so seven beads for seven units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One hundred and sixty-seven. Okay, over here, uh, you can draw it out using your uh, base ten blocks or your cubes. So we have one hundred, which is one hundred cubes stuck together. We have six tens, so that's six sticks. 10 cubes in each, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Sorry, my sticks are very wobbly. Six sticks of 10, 60. And how many units? Seven, so that's seven individual cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can write 167 as a 100, six tens, seven units, 167. And we can also write it, this one, very important, expanded form, okay? 100 is 100, just like here, there's a number 100, okay? Six tens is what? 60. And seven units is the value of seven. 100 plus a 60 plus a 7 is 167. Okay, and lastly, you can also write it as numbers. So we have 100 and 
Then you do the tens, say six, ten, sixty. And then you do the units, seven. Okay, 167. Okay, that is quick recap of place value and hundreds, tens, and units. So let's play some games. The first game uh, will help you to work through this whole page, page 90. Um, and you will need... Now, I'm playing a pancake game because it's Pancake Tuesday next week. So I've made circles, um, pancakes, and I've written the number, the digits, the digits, uh, one to nine um, are zero, zero to nine on each of those. Okay, and I've made a few, enough for me and enough for my friend. Uh, you can also use normal playing cards. Okay, they would actually probably be easier to use, but because it's Pancake Tuesday, I'm playing with pancakes. Okay, okay, so playing our pancake game. Um, each person has their deck of cards or their pile of cards. Okay, and you start off, everybody lays out three cards for the hundreds, tens, and the units. So three places. Okay, the other person puts them out. So we're going to turn them over. Flip the pancakes and see what number we have. Okay. Three. Three hundreds. Oh, three tens. And oh, one unit. So I have the number three hundred and thirty one. And then my friend over there will do it like this. So they have one hundred and forty five. Okay. So, whoever has the biggest number wins all the cards. So, which is bigger, 331 or 145? Okay. Now, you could also change it up. You could say whoever's got the most tens. So, 331, there's three tens. 145 has, they have four tens. So, actually, that time they would have won. Um, so that's the kind of pancake flipping, flip, flip, <laughs> flipping game. Um, you can play it with normal cards and you can change it up however you want. Who's got the most units? Who's got the most hundreds game? Who's got the biggest number? Who's got the smallest number? Make that a winning game. So that's uh, your pancake puzzles, hundred tens and units. Next uh, puzzle is like a uh, guess who mystery person except it's a mystery number puzzle you're given clues and you have to figure out the number based on the clues so they start off nice and easy and they could just say I have 100 110 and one unit and from what we've already learned 100 110 one unit putting them in their places the number is 111 okay starts off nice and easy then they might give you a little bit of a, um, a tricky clue like I have two hundreds no tens and six units what number am I two hundreds no tens six units if there's no tens you put in a so two hundreds, no tens, six units. The number is two hundred and six, no tens. Okay. So the next one gets a little bit harder because they give you a number and then they want you to change it going by the clues. So looking at this number, three hundred and fourteen, three hundreds, one ten, four units. They might give you the clue. Um, guess what number I am? I have two tens more and two ten units less than 314. Okay, so I've written a little um, clue box for myself here. I said plus two tens and less two tens, two units. Why do I keep saying that? Units, units. So look at the number 314. The number we're looking for has two more tens. So we need to add two more tens onto here. One and two is three, okay? It says 
it has two less units. So we look at the units, it's four. Two less than four is two. Does it mention anything about hundreds? So we leave the hundreds alone. So the mystery number that has two tens more and two units less than 314 is 332. So have fun this week. Um, I hope you don't get flipped too many pancakes and too many puzzles. They get confused. If you get stuck, email me, uh, send me a message and I'll try to help. Okay, have fun with your maths. Happy pancakes.